company car due for replacement? Are you thinking of a petrol car this time? Or a diesel? What about a hybrid? Have you considered electric? Which fuel or technology will cost you less in company car tax and private fuel while still being a practical choice for you and your company? This guide will help you through the increasingly complex range of different car engine technologies to help you save money on tax and fuel costs. Petrol internal combustion engines have historically been the most popular choice for cars. They are one of the lowest cost and lightest engines, which can mean they are cheaper than an alternative such as diesel or hybrid. This can reduce the company car tax that you pay. Petrol is cleaner than diesel in terms of emissions that have an impact on local air quality, such as oxides of nitrogen, which are proven to contribute to health problems. Many of the latest petrol-powered cars have official economy figures of more than 60 miles per gallon, especially those with smaller, downsized engines. However, petrol engines aren't usually as economical as diesel. Petrol as a fuel isn't as clean or as cheap as electric power. Official economy can be difficult to match in real life with downsized petrol engines. A company car with a petrol engine can be cost effective for tax and private fuel costs if you drive relatively low mileages or in mainly urban conditions, where air quality emissions will be lower than for a diesel. They are also suitable if you occasionally need to drive further than is possible in an electric vehicle or if you are unable to recharge an EV at home or work. Over recent years there has been an increasing shift to diesel engines in company cars due to their lower carbon dioxide or CO2 emissions which result in lower company car tax liability and better fuel economy than petrol engines. A modern efficient diesel is likely to be one of the most economical engines potentially returning over 60 miles per gallon in real world driving conditions as well as delivering good performance. However, diesels have higher emissions of some air pollutants, in particular oxides of nitrogen, which can affect local air quality. This is recognized as a problem in urban areas. They are heavier and more expensive than equivalent petrol engines, which is reflected in the cost of the car. There is a premium for diesel cars when calculating company car tax, which makes a diesel with any particular CO2 emission rating more expensive than a petrol with the same rating. Diesel engines are ideal for drivers covering lots of miles, especially at higher speeds on motorways. A hybrid has a powertrain that combines a petrol or diesel engine with an electric motor powered by a battery. The battery is charged by capturing energy from braking, called regenerative braking, and under certain conditions from the engine. Petrol-electric hybrids are ideal for urban areas, as most can run on electric-only power for short distances, about a mile in some cases, and when at standstill, the engine is switched off, thereby reducing fuel consumption, CO2 emissions, and emissions that impact upon local air quality. Of course, stop-start systems are also found in more conventional cars. With lower CO2 emissions than conventional alternatives, company car tax liability is lower and the premium for diesel models doesn't apply. Diesel-electric hybrids are designed to offer diesel levels of economy, with the ability for electric only running for short periods in urban areas, which reduces emissions from the diesel engine. Hybrids work well in urban driving and stop-start traffic when frequent slowing down is ideal to charge the hybrid battery. Because there's a petrol or diesel engine, hybrids have no range limitation. Hybrids can provide the performance of a larger engine with the economy of a smaller one. EV mode offers a very quiet, smooth and refined driving experience. Hybrid technology generally means extra purchase cost, but lower fuel costs than a petrol or diesel. Diesel electric hybrid powertrains are relatively heavy, which in real life can offset some of the theoretical fuel economy savings. Hybrids offer little advantage for motorway use in terms of significantly improved fuel efficiency. Most hybrids can't be used for towing. Hybrids can't be plugged into the mains to recharge the battery. Hybrids are ideal for drivers who split their time in and out of urban areas, where the hybrid system will reduce fuel costs and emissions in the city, yet the car is perfectly able to drive on the open road. A plug-in hybrid combines a petrol or diesel engine with an electric motor powered by a battery, with the additional ability to plug the car into the mains to gain a longer electric-only driving range. The battery is generally larger than in a standard hybrid to provide longer electric-only driving. 
plug-in hybrids are ideal for urban areas and short commutes as they can run on electric only power for possibly 15 to 30 miles, thereby reducing fuel consumption and emissions. With significantly lower official CO2 emissions, company car tax rates are low. The petrol or diesel engine provides power when the battery is depleted, so there's no range limitation. Driving a plug-in hybrid in electric mode will save considerably on fuel costs. Some plug-in hybrids can be used for towing. EV mode offers a very quiet, smooth and refined driving experience. Plug-in hybrid technology generally means the vehicles are more expensive but cost less in fuel and company car tax than a petrol or diesel. You need to be able to plug the car into the mains to recharge it, which requires a vehicle charge point at home, access to an allocated public charge point and or access to a charge point at work. Plug-in hybrids have very high official fuel economy figures, typically over 100 miles per gallon. But it's very difficult to achieve such figures in real-life driving unless the car operates on electric power for a high proportion of the time, which can only happen with short driving cycles interspersed with recharging. Some plug-in hybrids have smaller fuel tanks than conventional cars, so longer journeys, although perfectly feasible, may require more frequent refueling, particularly than an efficient diesel car. Plug-in hybrids are ideal for driving in urban areas and stop-start traffic where they can make the most of their electric zero tailpipe emission capability. But they are also suitable for longer distances and motorway driving thanks to their petrol or diesel engines. Fuel consumption on longer, faster journeys will usually be higher than for a conventional petrol or diesel. Therefore, they are unlikely to be the best choice if a large proportion of your driving is under these conditions particularly if you purchase fuel and reclaim the cost back at a pence per mile rate, or if your private driving is made up of these sorts of journeys. You may wish to consider the impact of higher fuel consumption increases CO2 emissions and cost for your employer. Plug-in vehicles can also work very well in rural areas if the car is typically driven for around 20 miles between charges. The low fuel costs and the lower number of rural fuel stations can make them a good, financially sound choice, particularly if you are responsible for private fuel costs. An extended range electric vehicle, e-rev, is an electric car with an additional range extender petrol engine that provides extra driving range when the battery becomes depleted. The engine simply generates electricity to power the electric motor which drives the car. The battery is usually much larger than found in a PHEV, being more similar to an EV. E-REVs are ideal for driving distances of up to around 50 to 120 miles between charges, depending on the make and model, in urban or rural areas, as they can run on electric-only power for such distances, reducing fuel consumption and emissions. E-REVs have very low official CO2 emissions, reducing company car tax bills. With the petrol engine, there's no range limitation, so they're also ideal for occasional longer journeys. E-REVs can provide significant savings on the cost of fuel for private driving. E-REVs offer a very quiet, smooth and refined driving experience. Two powertrains means extra purchase cost and weight, but this also means lower fuel costs than a petrol or diesel when driven predominantly on electric power. Some E-REVs have a very small fuel tank, limiting the range between refueling stops when driving on the petrol range extender. Very high official fuel economy figures, typically over 200 miles per gallon, only apply if the car operates on electric power for a high proportion of the time. E-REVs are most efficient when driven on electric power rather than when using the range extender. You need to be able to plug the car into the mains to recharge it, which requires a vehicle charge point at home, access to an allocated public charge point and or access to a charge point at work. E-REVs are ideal for use primarily in urban areas and in stop-start driving conditions or for journeys of up to 50 to 120 miles between charges depending upon the make and model where they can run on electric only power with occasional use for longer journeys. Regular high-speed long-distance motorway journeys would be more cost-effective in an efficient diesel vehicle. A pure electric vehicle is powered by an electric motor, which takes its energy from a large onboard battery. You plug the car into the mains to recharge the battery. With zero tailpipe emissions, a pure EV is the lowest emission car that you can buy.
You benefit from the lowest company car tax rates when choosing a car with zero tailpipe emissions. Even when taking the emissions from the national grid into account, EVs are greener than petrol or diesel powered cars per mile. EVs offer a very quiet, smooth and refined driving experience. EVs have very low running costs, approximately one-fifth of a conventional petrol or diesel car, which will save you money if you pay for your private motoring. Many EVs have a limited driving range, on average around 80 to 120 miles, although there are an increasing number of makes and models with larger driving ranges, up to around 300 miles in some cases. EVs can be relatively expensive, although this can be offset by lower running costs, which you may benefit from if you pay for your private use. You need to be able to plug the car into the mains to recharge it, which requires a vehicle charge point at home, access to an allocated public charge point and or access to a charge point at work. Driving at motorway speeds will run the battery down more quickly, reducing range. So EVs are not best suited to journey patterns which include very regular long motorway journeys. If you drive less than 80 to 120 miles per day or up to around 300 miles with some makes and models and you can recharge overnight at home or you can recharge at work, an electric vehicle may be an ideal way to reduce your company car taxation private running costs and help reduce the impact of your driving on the environment. Want to find out more? For travel and transport advice visit www.est.org.uk travel